Welcome to another episode of What I Learned from Bobby Hibbett. Let's listen to Kanye directly. They can't control you. They can't. I'm going to slow them down a little bit. You, but that's how they try to categorize. They can't control me. You get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq. They can tr- control Charles Barkley. Shaq they is a form of Shaw, which is a, talking about melanin. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. No, no, you, man. But they can't control me. You no, see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. Uh, it's up. No, you. You know what I'm saying? And just for minutes to fair kind, I love you. But the way you read that, I took that as a slight... Minister Farrakhan was on Kanye's side. Boys and girls, remember that anything Kanye say is scripted. They let him talk. They're letting him talk. If they don't want, if he, if Kanye says something that they don't want it to be known, they're going to scrub it from the internet. So this is new. We're going to see how long this stays on the internet. But uh, what he's saying there is false. Kanye is saying false things because Farrakhan spoke in favor of Kanye. Not only Kanye, Farrakhan was speaking in general about black celebrities being robbed and he was standing up for them. So this this kind of script is if you, if you haven't watched Farrakhan's video, you're just going to believe Kanye. Does it make any sense that Kanye would go against Farrakhan when Farrakhan's on his side? No. But if Kanye is following a script, then he is going to try to make more division among other black people. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm taking no disrespect from nobody, so let's get on the phone and let's talk that out. What is he talking about? I don't take no disrespect from nobody. That is playing a role. That is, that is, the, the role that he's playing, young people are going to imitate. Because basically, you're going to be so hypersensitive that anything anybody says to you, you're going to go off on them. I don't take no disrespect from anybody. That doesn't even make any sense because you've been more than disrespected by these uh, inferior pale people. Let's talk that out. I don't care who you are. I ain't taking no slice from nobody. Right? I ain't taking no slice from nobody. Is it spice God. or slice? That's the only person that I serve. My mom ain't here. My mom now let's let's stop. Boys and girls, for you for the people that are on the Bobby Hammett frequency, this is a script. The whole the whole point of Kanye talking is to get you directed back believing in God. Kanye is promoting God and Jesus. Even though they're going to destroy him, even though he's standing up for something of his own self, they will, tr- they will, um, they still have an agenda for him. They still have propaganda that he has to propagate. And it is spewing the falsity of any kind of singular God existing. As a what did he used to say he was God? He's not saying that anymore. But that's the occult truth is that he is God. Every single melanated person has a God energy in them. Nobody is God. That's the only person that I serve. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah. Michael too. Jordan. What about him? His dad, right? Bill Cosby, his son. Bobby Hammett people right? know this. Dr. Dre, his son. 
around Hollywood. He can, man, every black celebrity has had, has sacrificed somebody. That's the name of the game. Nicki Minaj, her father. Tony Braxton sacrificed her sister, Tracy Braxton. If you research, even the people that you think are low key and they're, they're the great, great old ones, the old time celebrities, you research their life. See, the thing is, they used to not make it public. Now they're making it public. But these singers from back in the day, you research their life, they have had a brother or sister die, basically, right before their fame. Smokey Robinson, um, Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin, if I'm not mistaken, she had at least two or three sisters die. I researched Aretha Franklin after, actually, I researched her after she passed away, but somebody was doing a biography on her, a very detailed biography, and it mentioned, no, excuse me, I need to make a correction, it wasn't Aretha Franklin, it was Patti LaBelle. Patty LaBelle had at least two or three sisters die just before she took off in fame. I can't look any any celebrity if you if if you want to write down the name of a celebrity in the comments, I will tell you what which one of their family members got the axe. Even your illustrious Beyonce, she has had her nephew you know, get murdered. Right. Dr. Dre, his son, around Hollywood. Mike Tyson, his daughter. A lot of people come up missing. His you daughter know, supposedly like choked on the treadmill. How could that you be? Monetized and traumatized. She got strangled on the me. treadmill. You understand? They, they hit me. Gap, Adidas, all that away. Still, Forbes, who hate me, right? Had to write and also, worth I want to, I want to say something. Kanye is playing a role. Kanye came from a a high education, a good quality education. Kanye knows how to speak grammatically. In this, he's not speaking grammatically because he's playing a role. He's playing a a dumb rapper role. Jesus is king. God love me. What a cliche. God love me. You know damn well that you're supposed to say God loves me. I'm just, I'm not saying it to criticize people that don't speak standard English. I'm pointing out to you that Kanye is playing a role. That Kanye is, he's playing a role. I don't want to say too much. Because I don't want to have people take it the wrong way. But he's playing a role. He's playing, he's playing a dumb rapper role. But he's, you know, he's doing the propaganda, you know, reinforcing, reinforcing the energy of black people believing in God and the fake Jesus. That's more important than being alive. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? And this truth is going to be heard. I can't send none of y'all meat meals, y'all It ain't meals, truth, it's booze, false. None of these names, none of these people. Because there is no God. I have to listen to y'all because they're dealing with, they have legal, I never killed nobody. There is no Jesus. Right? Now that's a lie right there. That never killed nobody. I never killed nobody. Uh, to be a celebrity, you have to consent. 
that basically you forsake all others and you will do anything. Um, you will do anything the contract says. And the contract says that somebody gets sacrificed. I'm not saying that they know who it is. But it, I'm sure it tells them you have to pay a price. Not only that, these sacrifices are so public and they're a pattern that anybody could see that isn't in a coma that it would be impossible for them not to know that their someone in their family is has to die in order for their fame to continue. They'll let you in the door after they sodomize you and compromise you. And by the way, I decoded Edomites. Edomites, if you switch those words around, you can spell sodomite because there's an S. So sodomite is the person that... Um, it's that they're unnatural, even in their ways of um, intimacy, because they have, they don't have the cosmic seed to to fulfill the masculine and feminine energy in the correct way. So they're unnatural beast, and they want to go through your bum which it wasn't made for. And they just want to get, they don't recognize masculine or feminine. They're just trying to get gratification from a whole. Sorry to say that, but anything I can share, I'm just trying to say it. Anyway, Kanye's full of shit here. Dealing, they have legal. I never killed nobody. Kanye right? is going to get I'm the, the axe. Kanye himself right? is going to get the axe. But that means I can say whatever I want. They're going to let him go live to for probably like two more months so like people forget about this. And then he, they're going to kill him. Long story short. It would be interesting to know what else he said, but that was the gist of it. I'm letting you know this is scripted. This is scripted, and he said two lies in there, and the whole point is to talk about it. The whole point is to talk about God and encourage black people to not stand up but just rely on a God that's never going to rescue you because he doesn't exist. And I'm not going to say anything else. Look at, look up other videos in the, um, in the channel called Bobby Hemet snippets, and you can learn a lot of things that ends another episode of what I learned from Bobby Hemet. And I would like this to be the last video that I ever make on Kanye. Because I'm just, I'm getting too wrapped up in it. And it's taking up too much time. And I'm not reaching many people at all. You know. They, I think they're blocking me from reaching people, actually. But anyway, that's it. We're done with that. I wish I would stop making audios, though. I gotta, I gotta drop the Kanye topic, though.